What's up, man? 25 gamers. Today we are going to be looking at the past, present, and future uh, of my YouTube channel. Um, and real quickly, I want to let you know I didn't just, uh, you know, I didn't just start the game. Um, well, I mean, I did. It was my first drive, but I, I actually rec was recording the first drive, and it, it kind of just screwed up again. Uh, I know that's a, a shock to a lot of you guys that my recording equipment would malfunction, but of course it did. Um, sometimes the audio does not record for whatever reason. The Audacity program is really jacked up right now. Um, so if you guys have any recommendations of audio programs, uh, I would greatly appreciate. I'm trying to figure something out about it. Um, I don't quite. I don't really think it's a computer. Um, but anyway. So what are we talking about today? Well, we're talking about where I was, where I am now, and where I want to be in a year. Uh, it's kind of like a year in review video. Um, so if you want, if you're supporters, you'll stick around. Uh, and if you guys are just kind of people who like me for my vast knowledge of this game, then you'll probably leave very quickly. Um, okay, so I started YouTube, and and, and um, it was actually about a year ago in October. Um, but I never, but. Uh, I don't really think of that as my start. That's the probably like it's like the first video I posted, but it wasn't my start. Um, my beginning in YouTube was probably about August. Um, no, I take that back. It was probably, probably I started preparing for this season in June, and then I started uh, the actual season and regularly posting videos in August. Okay, so why do you care? <laughs> Um, well, I think it's kind of cool that it took me almost a year to get started. The reason I think that's cool is because it shows that you know I, I really didn't intend on it being anything more than just a hobby. Um, never really, and it really it kind of is still in the hobby stage. You know, I don't get the big bucks for this. Um, you know, it's not like I'm cashing out. I'm actually in a lot of uh, you know, I actually am losing money on almost every video I post. Uh, at least right now, I am. So it's not for the money. Um, it's not why I do this, it's, it, and, you know, I do uh, put ads in my videos, the main reason to do that is just because I, you know, I, it's the only, really only kind of monetary gain I get from this, and I really don't get a whole lot of monetary gain at all from that, so I feel like it's, n you know, it's nothing to you guys to watch a five second ad, that most of you probably skip anyway, so, anyway, uh, enough about the business, whatever, of YouTube because um, it's a bunch of crap anything shocking to people uh, it was just kinda cool that I had just taken down one of the best players in the Madden community and you know it was kinda this just crazy ordeal for me at least for me being a senior uh, you know a junior in high school and just you know cr you know almost to a point beating the mess out of time it was just I got like three f I got a lot of fumbles um I have a decent defense, a decent offense. It wasn't like I, you know, it wasn't like I was horrible, but it also wasn't like I was super good. And so I decided, you know, I want to be consistently good at this game. And so I started, I started joining a bunch of websites. Um, I joined MaddenTips.com, joined Madden Mastermind, I joined Madden Universe, I joined pretty much every Madden website you could think of. I even joined Madden All Stars because I didn't know that Shocker 360 was what everyone says he is, and I still don't have the whole take on the picture, I don't know uh, for sure what what even everyone is fussing about what the big deal is, I don't know, because I wasn't around when he when the accusations came of everything, so I don't know, so therefore I can't really say anything about it, um, that's just kind of the thing. Now, um, and I, and I joined, like I said, Soccer Shockers site, I joined Madden Daily, I joined Madden Master, every Madden site I could find I joined. Uh, I didn't really quite understand it at the time uh, it, as much as I do now, but I just joined in every day, um, literally every day. Uh, I'd come home, and the first thing I'd do, load up all my Madden pages, <laughs> and um, I'd load up all my Madden pages, turn Madden on, and go right into practice mode, and every day, I would just work on ev like just everything, and I literally knew every play in the game, and I, I haven't got to do that as much this year. The only... Um, you know, I, I, well, I, see, I have, but I haven't. And the reason I say that, the reason I say that is because I, I have in spurts. Um, so, like, for example, I've been doing that kind of this week. I've been kind of playing a lot, um, a lot more than I normally do. Uh, normally, I only play for maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes a day, and then I record uh, videos. 
And I still think that my tips are pretty good. Um, they're not as good as they could be, uh, simply because I don't have the time to commit to what a play by Earl Thomas. I just don't have the time commitment that I had last year. Uh, that's the one issue with that. Um, and I am this coming uh, year, I'm going to try to figure something out. I'm going to work around my schedule and, and see what I can do. Uh, and that's why I talk a lot. I talk um, to Z-Boy365 uh, all the time about, uh, are you productive with the time you have? Um, and that's kind of like something I've had to learn how to do. Uh, I've had a lot less time than I've had in the past to, to do anything. What a stupid read. He just kind of drifted, and I just watched him do it. Um, but, you know, I've, I've kind of just not had as much as I wanted to have this season. Um but anyway, so I, I beat Gibbs um, on stream, and I this, uh, then I started watching This Week in Madden. I came across This Week in Madden, uh, really, really kind of just, I knew S, I knew who S. Gibbs was. Uh, in Madden 12, I found his daily show, and I watched it all the time. Um, and I didn't quite understand what he was talking about. Um... Like I, I kind of understood like the basics, but I didn't understand the the deeper meaning of everything he had to say, and that was kind of um, you know pointless. For, it wasn't pointless. I don't want to say it's pointless for me. I, I didn't get everything he was trying to teach us at the time. At, at the time, and it was kind of just something to get my mind flowing, Madden wise. Um, so anyway, and, and and of course, um, real quick, I I started playing Madden when I was. Madden 2002, so I would have been, what, shoot, that was a while ago, I would have been in, like, second grade, um, and I also played Madden at my friend's house, but I, I got my first Xbox, uh, for Christmas, when I was in second grade, and I got Madden 2002, NBA Live 2002, and, and one other, I think I got Major League Triple Play or something, um, one of the older baseball games, and, and it was, like, my favorite thing to do, literally, I... I, I didn't understand anything I was doing. I was literally, like, just watching play. I would just call, like, ooh, this play looks good. I'll call this. You know, it wasn't really a thought process. It wasn't a systematic approach. But it, it was a pretty decent time period in my life that I enjoyed. I just enjoyed Madden for Matt, for, for just a video game. And, you know, I would, I'd be the guy that I'd always have. So I, I would not always beat the computer, like, 38 to nothing and feel like I was the best ever. And then I'd go play one of my friends or something. It'd actually be a game, and, and then I would be mad because he actually could play defense or offense or whatever. So, look at that play right there, Carl. That was a nice little play call right there. Um, that's something coming up in one of our one of the guides I'm going to try to get out to you next year. But anyway, so that's kind of the thing. Uh, uh, 2002, uh, I played kind of like that uh, just for kind of fun all the way up until 2000. And nine, um, in 2009, my dad died, and I really didn't get to play much uh, that year, just because I was kind of—it was all just kind of a shock until Christmas. Um, my dad died in 2000 and 2009, September 27th, and it was from then until Christmas I really just like zoned out. I don't even remember a whole lot of what went on. Um, I just kind of remember just a bad, the feelings and emotions, and it was just kind of just a bad time for my family. And so then I went to the uh, then I went to the Xbox 360. My mom got me an Xbox 360 for my birthday or my Christmas present. Uh, one of my friends, one of the friends from our church, said that it was it would be a nice gift, and she got it for me. And it was like it was like all over again. <laughs> uh, what a pathetic play by Hoyer! But it was all over again. It was like that wow <laughs> wow shock factor. You know, this is like the best thing ever. And I I really enjoyed the game. I played Madden 10, and, and, and I found out you could play online, and I had never do, I'd never known that before, and I always knew I was pretty good at the game, but I didn't know that you could play online. Well, um, so I found out you could play the multiplayer. When I did, I decided to, uh, I was not as good as I thought I was. Um, you know, I went on multiplayer, and I was using the Cardinals, because they were my, I liked Fitzgerald at the time, and I liked Kurt, Kurt Warner, I believe he was still there, and I uh, just kind of played with the Cardinals, and I remember just getting, not really beat, but just getting, you know, just getting beat, but not, like, demo demolished, but, like, you know, kind of that loss that you don't want to, that you, de you never thought was possible. Um, that's kind of what happened. Um, kind of put me in my place. So then, 
Uh, I got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I believe that that was the year that it came out. It might have been a year after that. I think, it, I'm pretty sure it was that year. And I played that more than Madden that year. Uh, I got really into Madden Modern Warfare 2. I was a 10 prestige, <laughs> legit, played way too much, I shouldn't have played, actually, actually, kind of, I actually, this is something I'm not really happy, proud of, but, I laid under my, I slept, I, I would walk out to go to school in the morning, uh, one week, and I, um, I decided <laughs> that I wanted to stay home and play, uh, Call of Duty, so, what did I do, I, I walk home, um, and then my mom would go, and I would sit in my dad's car, <laughs> until my mom left for work, and then I go back in and play Call of Duty all day. It was, it was li because my mom would never let me skip school, um, and that was just kind of the way, she, just kind of the way we did things. You know, most some parents will let you, some parents won't. My mom was one of the people that wouldn't, and of course I tried to get a workaround, and it might have been one of the many dumb decisions I made in my life. It was stupid, and I got grounded from my Xbox for a long time, like about a month or maybe two, I can't remember how long it was, but it was a while, every time I got taken off my Xbox, it was always for a pretty good time, at least it was to me, and so, I, anyways, I got really into Call of Duty that year, and then Madden 10, or Madden 11, yeah, that would have been Madden 11, Madden 11 came out, and I got super back into Madden, and I found my favorite uh, Madden Combinator to this day, uh, MaddenEdge.com. And if you guys don't know who MaddenEdge.com is, uh, I'm going to leave a link in the law. I've never given him a shout-out. It's really kind of unfair to him. I should have uh, several times before this. but uh, Because he's kind of my te my mentor, uh, if you will. You know, A lot of people think S. Gibbs, Farrells, um, Dykes, Z-Boy, kind of my, my core group. Um, and they are to a certain extent, but they're kind of—I would—I would think of them more as my fellow players. Uh, Edge is kind of like my—it's kind of weird to say this—but he's almost like a father figure in Madden type of sense, um, because he created my thought process, my mind. I found him in Madden 11, and I watched every video he posted, every single one, and I love the way he broke the game down. It was realistic. It was—and back then, I was a lot more of a sim style player uh, than I was today. I would use her like the defensive tackle. And just not do, not do anything. Um, and so I, I thought Edge was just a fabulous player. And he is. He's a great player. Uh, if you guys, like I said, if you don't know, www.madness.com. Get the Team Schemes membership. You will never, ever spend a better $20 in your life. I'm telling you right now, it's the best bang for your buck out there. I, I mean, you see a lot of what he does in my plays. And, and, and you'll, I mean, you just kind of see how he created my bad knowledge. Uh, you guys, actually, the 4-3 defense that I was running last year was based around his uh, thought processes and concepts. So, please go over there. And uh, the, you could tell him I sent you. I, I'd rather you didn't. The reason I don't want you to tell me is I don't want, I don't want him to think that, you know, I, I just, you, you could do whatever you want. Uh, I just kind of want it to be like a surprise. But... Uh, I would I would really like to see 100 to 200 people at least uh, go over and, and see him. Um, and then also another thing you can do is on Facebook. If you could like him on Facebook for me, I'll leave a link to you guys. Uh, he's um, Madden Edge took out the number two player in the world on the PlayStation 4. He's one of the best players on PlayStation 4 right now. And I'm telling you guys right now, you will never ever regret getting a membership with him. Uh, he doesn't use the Niners. He doesn't use overpowered teams like that. Seahawks, Niners, do not, you won't see that. Uh, you'll see some Bengals. Uh, sometimes we'll, we'll use the Bengals. But overall, guys, uh, MaddenEdge.com. Uh, in my opinion, if you're thinking, and, and this is kind of the thing, it's similar to MaddenTips.com. MaddenEdge.com is the two best Madden websites out there. Out, uh, in my opinion, Overall, uh, you won't regret being a member of either one of them. And then, of course, you, you know I'm going to say this: the best eBooks out there is eBoy365, uh, bar none. Uh, best technology, best best bang for your buck, and best concepts, in my opinion. Uh, eBoy365, Madden Tips Winners Kit, can't go wrong with either one of those. And MaddenEdge.com, phenomenal. Anyways, enough of the shoutouts. But that's who uh, created my Madden, Madden Mind. And I've never said it on the channel before, mainly just kind of because I n never really thought to say it. Um, but I want to go ahead and say it uh, today. Anyway, uh, so he created kind of my, my Madden Mind. If you guys remember the what, Far Tight Twins playbook I ran, he introduced me to that. Um, a lot of people say I stole Dream Dream Killers offense, whatever. Uh, it's, it could be it couldn't be further from the truth, um, but it is what it is. Uh, I did, uh, I will say this, I did 
uh, install the spread from Dream Killers. Uh, and that's about all I'll say. And I haven't ran West Coast all year. So, anyway. So then, uh, Madden 12, like I said, Madden 12 came around, and I was still watching Madden Edge, and that was the only real Madden show I watched. Well, I found um, S. Gibbs' Madden Daily Show. I was just kind of YouTube and Madden and whatever. And I also found, some of you guys probably know him, uh, Game King. And I, I, I don't even really, never really learned anything from Game King. Game King, Game King kind of just taught you all these tricks and tricks of the trade and user catches and all that. And I never really learned anything from that because, like, I sucked. <laughs> uh, I had no user skill at all. I didn't even know how to do any of this. And so he was coming at you with all these user glitch blitzes, nanos, whatever. I had no idea what that was. And, uh... So I just, I just kind of disregarded uh, him. But I did subscribe. I think I am still even subscribed to him to this day. But I did watch it just because it was Madden. And so Madden 12, I kind of started that. Whatever Madden I could get, I got. And I didn't start playing Madden 12 until... Well, I started in the beginning and I took a break. I took a break from Madden 12 in the December. And then I played more in the, in the summer. Getting ready for Madden 13. And I played a lot of Madden 12. Um... I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't really ever, I never really played anybody that great. Uh, I had, a, I did meet, make a friend, and I played with him almost every day, and then he was a franchise guy. He really enjoyed his connected careers. And so he got me into the connected careers, and I started playing a lot of connected careers mode franchises. I was in like six, co six franchises. I was like in as many as I could. I tried to even start one on my own. It was a bad deal. <laughs> uh, I kind of overdid the franchise. Um... And and I kind of just kind of you know kind of burned myself out of it and uh, but anyway I did the franchise thing um, still kind of growing my Madden uh, knowledge up played pretty well I got to the Super Bowl in one of them and I thought it was like the biggest thing since sliced bread like I was so so excited um, I like showed my mom um, I was just such an I was like a freaking two year old um, but yeah um, and I say I'm a lot. <laughs> So, anyways, I for, after Madden 12, I got to Madden 13. Like I said, uh, that's when I started really started kind of getting into YouTube, Madden, and, and kind of all that. So I watched everything literally for like three months. I just like Madden was what I did pretty much all day when I could. Uh, if I wasn't going to school, if I wasn't going to church or working, whatever, I was on Madden 13. And I kind of regret it a little bit just because it it kind of. Uh, Ruined some opportunities I had. I, I wasted some a lot of time on the game, um, but it was still a, a nice. It, it was just a crazy cool opportunity that I had at the time to to do whatever I wanted. Man's what I chose to do. Uh, so that's kind of where I was at. And so I started making YouTube videos. Like I said I made a couple of just a couple of tips, uh, a couple of schemes, and didn't really think anything of it. I didn't really even think anyone would watch them. And I got like a thousand views and. and Madden and, and Gibbs, I sent it over to Gibbs, and he posted on his website, and I got, uh, out of that video, hey, I have to this day about a thousand views on it, and it was just a really, like, a wow factor, like, wow, I'm on the internet, I'm the coolest thing ever, you know, that's what I thought, and so, yes, uh, that was a pretty good play call right there, um, but yes, was it, was I wrong? Yeah, I was wrong, I wasn't a big deal. Was I right in a fact, or was it cool? Yeah, it was cool to me uh, to be on the internet and to have just a cra it was just a crazy experience. And anyway, so I liked it, and I started posting more videos. And so I started the Coffee with Cody. It might have been the dumbest series of all time, uh, but it was meant to be like a Madden TV kind of show. Um, the only problem with it was was I didn't have an HD PVR. I didn't have any good recording equipment. So and and another problem was I had no like no idea how boring and dumb I sounded. And so uh I watched a couple of videos of those with some of my buddies uh and, and actually my church uh post showed showed them on a uh mission trip for me. That was kind of funny. But it was just kind of like that like, oh wow, you're you you're like you're nothing compared to some of these commentators, and um, but but I felt like I was something. And it was just kind of that idea where you you go through and you it's just kind of something that you 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 progress through, and that's what happened. Uh, I progressed, and 
became a pretty good commentator in my opinion. And uh, here I am today. But like I said, uh, and I started. I kind of decided in uh, March that I kind of wanted to see where YouTube could take me. This season was kind of going to be my year, uh, if you will, to grow on YouTube. And then we're setting it up for next year to be kind of a nice year for me to do some crazy stuff uh, and kind of enjoy a nice year on YouTube. Anyway, so that's kind of where I came from, uh, where I am right now. Where I am right now is I'm done with the bull crap. Uh, I used to try to never say anything mean. I used to try to uh, support everybody who's commented because I was so excited that they actually commented on my video. And uh, right now I'm kind of done with it, uh, I'll be honest with you guys. Uh, I'm not done with YouTube. I'm not done with YouTube. I'm done with the community. Uh, the reason I'm done with the community is because it's ridiculous, it's a waste of time, and it's pointless. I will still answer questions. I will not answer to people who tell me, Oh, no one can ever do all of these adjustments. This is ridiculous. You suck. Why don't you watch a Madden tournament? You'll see people making 5 million adjustments. I give you 3. You know? People who tell me that, I have no sympathy for anymore because the idea is... You have to do your own work. Um, I will buy you. I'll give you great plays. I'll give you great schemes. I'll give you stuff that'll beat the computer. I'll give you stuff that'll get you to number one in the world online. You have to do your work to be a truly good man player. I had to do my work. You have to do your work. That's kind of where I'm at right now in terms of my my head. Um, that's what I want to do. Um, my heart is in a different spot. I want to. I kind of see. Uh, you know, I see the need uh, for 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 team people who need plays with no adjustments. And I'm gonna be very honest. And right now, you want to play with no adjustments. Okay. Well, if you want to play with the no adjustments, I want a Lamborghini. The reality is, it's very difficult to play this game without adjustments. I tried it a couple days ago. I was going through it, and I was playing, and I was working on some stuff, and I was trying to use a play playbook that was just it was it was just play, but basically the scheme was based on play calling, almost a hundred percent play calling and flow coverage and that stuff. And it worked. Uh, it worked really well against online guys. Uh, it worked really well against a couple of players I know who play in tournaments. But the problem with it is, is there's still some adjustments that have to be made. There's a couple of minor adjustments. It's not as much as I normally say, um, but there is some minor adjustments. And so that scheme I will be releasing to you a at ASAP. Um, in an ebook, uh, I'm going to teach you an advanced way version, a simplified version. You're going to get everything you need. Um, but anyway, I am done with the bull crap. I, I'm just done. I can't, I can't do the bull crap anymore. Uh, you know, it's kind of annoying. Uh, no, it is annoying. Uh, it's it's really time consuming, and it's just I don't have time to deal with the bull crap. Um, you're saying what's the bull crap? Well, like I said the bull crap. People who post comments trying to trap me or trying to get me to say something I don't want to say or calling me out. I'm fine with you calling me out on a legit some if something's legit. But when you just call me out on every video, I mean good lord. Like you need to get a life kind of idea, you know? But that's just kind of the deal. So no more bull crap. If you guys post hate comments, I'm sure you will, some of you. Uh some of you will be nice. <laughs> um some of you will kind of get my point. Uh but if you post hate comments, I will block you, and that's just kind of the deal. Uh, because at this point, I just can't, I just can't deal with it. it it's th well, this is how I'm dealing with it. I'm just going to be, it's just not going to bother me, and I'm going to delete it, and it's going to be gone. Because it's my channel, I'll run it the way I want to run it, and hopefully, you can get something out of it. Um, you know, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, the reason I and I don't do that because I want to be mean to you. That's not, the, and that was pathetic third and long defense right there. But I don't do it because I want to be mean to you. I do it because I'm just I don't want I don't want that to be what my channel is all about. I don't want you know I I want my channel to be about Madden, football, and and community. I don't but I, but at the same point I don't want to have people that just continually just negative all the time so if you're doing that you will go you will leave um it's that simple you can go watch another man commentator as far as and then real quick i want to address a couple of questions comments and concerns and then we'll talk about my future uh, my future won't take that long to talk because i've already kind of talked about that 
Okay, comments, concerns, and questions. Cody, why don't you post more gameplays? Very, I uh, get that question probably the most. Why don't you post more gameplays? Um, first of all, I don't have time. Um, uh, reason I don't have, why don't you have time, Cody? Well, I don't have time to edit the video down. Uh, that's just the reality. I don't. Um, I can post like this. I can do this full gameplay, uh, and I do do I I do do. I will do this from time to time. I actually do this once a week. Uh, game of the week. Now I've slacked off a little bit. Haven't been able to get all the content to you. Uh, like we've you know we've been talking we talked about that already. I had hernia double hernia surgery. I'm just now getting out of bed regularly. Um, so it's been a tough you know it's been a tough holiday. Uh, you, just, you know and that's just kind of part of it. You have to realize I'm a person. I'm not a computer. And I have to recover. I have health. You know, that's kind of I have. You know, I have other things to do. And I, I know it doesn't seem like that to you guys now because you don't, you don't live with me, whatever. But that's just the reality, and that's just kind of be how it is. Uh, and so that's the first reason. The second reason I don't post more gameplay is because you haven't enough. I don't need to. There's not a need for gameplay. There's not a shortage of gameplay uh, in the Madden community. There is a shortage of good gameplay, I think. But there's not a shortage of gameplay. You want to see a gameplay? Gold Sports, Addy Cards, um, Cold World 9, and I believe one other guy. Route Combo, and there's another guy. I can't remember. Um, but there's like I think there's like six guys that post gameplays almost every day. Uh, go there. Uh, their gameplays are just as good as mine. They're fine. You know, it's, it, or just play the game for yourself. You know, what do you want? <laughs> you know, if they don't, I mean, if you want, okay, so you want gameplays that are gonna teach you stuff. Game of the week. There you go. Madden Ultimate Team. There you go. Random gameplay. Every once in a while, I'll post a random gameplay. There you go. There's opportunities for it. You just have to watch. You have to check. You know, I post four videos a day. Some of the videos get, a lot of times, the videos get lost. That's what's how, you know, I'll have like seven videos with a thousand views and a video posted like a day before that's only got 800. Why is that? The video gets lost in translation. That's the idea. Uh, and so you need to check regularly. If I post four videos a day, it's going to eventually overflow my box, overflow my box with um, my sub box or whatever. So that's, you just have to think ahead. Um, and again, there is gameplay here for you. Uh, and there will be going forward, that's for sure. If, if there was a gameplay for you before, there will be going forward. But it's not going to be... I'm not going to post a 15-minute gameplay that just shows you highlights. It just does For me, it does, there's no need for that. you got plenty of that all around YouTube. Guys that are very good commentators. You want people that are going to entertain you. Golden Sports, entertainment. Mad Mastermind, uh, iMaverick, entertainment. You want to go see someone that's going to teach you strategy. Route Combo, very good at that. Um, Mad Mastermind Dream Killers, very good at that. S. Gibbs, MaddenTips.com, one of the best at that. MaddenEdge.com, in my opinion, the best at that. ZBoy365 will give you stuff. You want to, you want people that are going to teach you money plays. Money, you want to money play in Madden 25? Call halfback freaking inside zone. That's a money play for you. Call four verticals. That's a money play for you. But you know, at, at some point, you have to kind of get. I, I'm over. I'm over doing stuff that means nothing. Um, you know, I'm over doing something that you can't use. Uh, I, my brother, we were shopping for my mom's Christmas present uh, uh, a couple of days ago. And my brother's, like, looking for all these clothes and stuff. And I was like, Micah, she doesn't need clothes. She's got a million clothes in her closet. What does she need? Well, she needs uh, a new grill. Or she needs a new this. Get something that they can use. Get something that is beneficial to them. Don't give them something they already have. You know, they don't need more of it. They just need to realize what they have. That's what I want you guys to do. Realize what you have. And I'm not saying that I'm never going to post gameplays. I'm saying realize you have five other, six other commentators regularly posting gameplays. Just watch theirs. They post good games. They're good people. You don't, you know, you don't have to watch my gameplays solely. I'm not the only guy that plays Madden in the world. So, that's kind of that. Um, and then, uh... Well, uh, one other question, uh, and then we have to go, or, or two other ones. How do you make all those adjustments so fast in the game, Cody? It's ridiculous. I don't know what to do. This is what I this is what I say to that. Stay tuned to the channel. There will be some stuff for you, because I understand where you're coming from. Second thing I have to say to that, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, at some point, you're going to have to be a big boy. And you're gonna have to play, make some adjustments. That's the reality of Madden 25. You think you can go? I, the reason I say that, the reason I'm so kind, I'm so kind of over this question. I literally get it three times, three five times a day. 
this is not realistic. You can't get all these adjustments in here. Plus, a piece of crap. Why are you playing in practice mode? Why don't you show us in the real game? Baby, day, baby, day. Well, I'm playing in practice mode so I can break the play down. And I am gonna. I do agree uh, with some of the some of the some of the complaints. I need to show more. I need to show more of what's where you're vulnerable. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try to remind myself to do that. They're going to ratify the channel, make it more beneficial to you, much more user friendly, and a little bit less about flash. I'm sick. I, I'm done with nano blitzes. Uh, blitz of the day is gonna talk about how blitz is actually gonna be useful to run. And I, I, I'm going to talk about vulnerabilities. Why you run certain plays. Reality is, with Mad 25, running game is very effective. Why is it important? Thank you so much for a great season, guys. You guys mean the world to me. I appreciate it so much. Hopefully this audio doesn't screw up. I'm assuming it will. Uh, it's a 30-minute recording, so of course it has to screw up. But once again, I appreciate you guys' support from the bottom of my heart. Appreciate your love, your genuine affection, and I cannot wait to get started with another year. 2014 is going to be a year to remember. 2013 sure as heck was. We're going to make some memories in 2014 that are going to be very awesome. We'll see you guys later.